boys. Come on, boys. Hello, number one. What's your name and where do you come from? Hello, sir. My name's Nick and I'm from Poole. You used to be in the Merchant Navy, didn't you? That's very true. Yet yeah, when I was 16, I signed up and joined the Merchant Navy. All oh, right. So how long were you in the Merchant Navy for and where did you go? Well, I was only in there for six months, but... Um... Oh, <laughs> 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 I didn't get... <laughs> Is it true what they say about sailors? I mean, a girl in every port? That is true. Not only what? just... <laughs> <laughs> not only just the one sailor, not only just the one. You know, it, it is true. But there's also, there's also, we've made sure that there was a lot of port in every girl as well before we... Oh! <laughs> a lot of port in every girl. That's true. <laughs> Enjoy blind date number one, a lot of port in every girl. <laughs> naughty, naughty boy. Number two, what's your name and where do you come from? I'm James and I'm from Cardiff. <laughs> what does our James do from Cardiff? Shall I, I'm a butcher. I'm your local family butcher. <laughs> <laughs> And you're, you're a butcher with a banter. I mean, you chat with all the ladies, all the housewives. All the ladies, Silla, they love it. They love, um, they love the special sausages and especially... <laughs> <laughs> They love your sausages. Yeah, yeah, and especially, they always come back for the loin of pork, Silla. They always love the loin of pork. <laughs> what special thing would I go for in you? Well, um, we do, I do a special, which is um, the roast rack of lamb, that is. A roast, a crown roast? Roast crown of lamb, that's it, Silla, yeah. Well, tell me what's so special about your crown roast. Well, it's, it's easy, Silla. It's, uh, it's just the way I stuff them. <laughs> They get bigger and better. Hello, number three. What's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Cinder. I'm Dave and I'm from Brighton. Brighton. <laughs> now, Dave, you're a student at the moment. Yeah, aren't I'm you? studying to be a children's nurse, Cinder. Oh, we need all the nurses we can get in this country. And I tell you what, you all deserve dirty big rises, don't they, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. You do. What made you want to be a children's nurse, Dave? Well, Silla, I, I sit there, I play with the Lego, I watch cartoons, <laughs> and I get paid for it. I know, so you're a big kid at heart, are you? Definitely. But not only that, in your youth, when you were a much younger boy, I mean, you were in, you were in the Scouts, is that right? Yep. And now you've, you're a fully-fledged Scout master. I am indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and you sit round the campfire with the kids. Yeah. Yes. Sing songs. Do you? Oh, yeah. you don't sing that song. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Not that famous song. Tell us what Ging it's called. Ging Gangooly. Oh, Ging Gangooly. <laughs> All right. Ging Gangooly, Gooly, 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 Watch a Ging Gangooly, Ging Gangooly, Ging Gangooly, Watch a Ging Gangooly, Ging Gangooly. Enjoy blind date, all three of you. I shall see you all in a moment, lads. All right, you're lovely. <laughs> well, three good fellas there, but which will our girl choose to be her own special wise guy? Let's find out. Her name's Kelly, and she's from Hampshire. Come in, Kelly. <laughs> And what a look. The audience love you out there. Tell everybody what you do. I work in sales and telecommunications. Yes. Well, we're not worried about what you sell, because you've certainly sold yourself tonight. <laughs> to us. But in, when you tell everybody you're, you are a flirtatious lady, I aren't you? Am, you love yes. to flirt. I do. I do. But if you do like a guy, 
and you get on with them on a date. I mean, you can't yeah. help finishing a date with a certain type of I can't, song. No, I break out in song. Yes. I do. I, I break out in song, a little bit of Big Spender. Really? So, so do you want me to... Yeah, so yes. if you were to get on with our date tonight, you yeah. would burst into this song. Oh, of course. Oh, well, we <laughs> want a big spender, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Of course we do. Well, I'm Kelly, we want to see that cat suit. I'm going to have a look. This is my little microphone, right? It gives me a little bit of more. Oh, Come all on. right. Oh, whatever yeah. turns you <laughs> <laughs> The minute he walked in the joint, I could see he was a man of distinction. Real big spender. <laughs> Good looking, so fine. Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. I don't talk my life for every man I see. Hey, big spender, spend a little time with me. Dun, da, 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 da. Three questions you've got there. I've got three questions. Fire away with the first one. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number one. I've got long, dark hair, which I'm told is my trademark. What part of your body are you most proud of? <laughs> number one. <laughs> well, I'd say my best feature would be my electric blue eyes. And if you look into them tonight, they'll make your hair stand on end. <laughs> Number two, please. Well, well, Kelly, um, I've been told I've got a, well, not a bit of a nice bum, but a really nice bum. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you fancy a bit of a cheeky butcher boy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good, do you like a bit of romp, do you? <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi. Well... As a rugby player, I suppose it's got to be my broad shoulders and broken nose. <laughs> so, do me a favour, Kelly. Keep these two into touch, and we'll have an early bath. <laughs> Question number two. I believe in first impressions, and usually make a decision within the first few minutes of meeting someone. If you had just 15 seconds to impress me, what would you do? And that goes to number two, please. Well, Kelly, um, if you had 15 seconds to choose me, you wouldn't have to have 15 seconds, because you could have the rest of your life to just see how really good I am. <laughs> um, number one, please. Well, Kelly, 15 seconds, that's not very long, but I think I'd show you how much of a hot lover I am. But then... <laughs> oh, that thought more than a Ooh. twinkle to your eyes. <laughs> then I don't know what I'll do for the other ten seconds. <laughs> Number three. Uh, well, 15 seconds. Um, uh, so I've got about ten seconds left. Uh, nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five... Oh, forget it, Kelly. Just pick me. <laughs> OK, question number three. I'm very trusting, although my friends often call me gullible because I'll believe absolutely anything they tell me. What's your most outrageous story and why should I believe you? Um, number one, please. Well, Kelly, when I was a lad, I was once on one of my dad's demolition sites and I managed to fall through a roof. So imagine this, I'm 100 foot up, hanging for my life, and I'm up there for about 15 minutes. But let me tell you something, Kelly, believe me, I'm someone you wouldn't want to drop. <laughs> Number three, please. Well, Kelly, I'm rich, successful, and I look like George Clooney. <laughs> you like George Clooney? I do, what a shame. <laughs> Why should you believe me? Well, trust me, I'm a doctor. Oh. <laughs> you did say you were born. I did, yeah. <laughs> and 
And final to number two, please. OK. Um, well, Kelly, I once, once went away with the lads just for a week's holiday and, um, and decided to stay out there for six months. So uh, when you pick me tonight, believe me, we won't be coming back. Questions. It goes over quick as a flash, doesn't it, Kelly? I oh, know. It's making your mind up time. Any ideas? I have, yeah. You have? I know who I'm going to pick. No. I'm not going to tell you. Well, don't <laughs> tell me. No, not just yet anyway, because we've got to hear from our Graham. Well, now, Kelly, will it be electrifying number one? If he's got the time, he won't keep you hanging around. <laughs> or perhaps you'll have a butcher's at number two who has the nerve to offer you the holiday of a lifetime. <laughs> or will it be indecisive number three, the medical man for whom time seems to be slipping through his fingers? <laughs> the decision is yours. You've got to pick your date, and then the second bit is picking the date where you're going to go. But the most important thing is, who are you going to go for? I'm going to go for number one, please. <laughs> no, I, I don't think you've got any qualms about that one. But what about the... They're all great. What about the two that you turned down? And how could you turn down our butcher? Yes. You've missed out on his crown rose and his stuffing. <laughs> you turned down number two. That was James from Cardiff. Come in, James. Oh, Sweetheart, and you turned yeah. down. How could you turn down six foot three, number three? That was our Dave from Brighton. Come in, Dave. What a sweetheart. <laughs> Children's nurse is good. Look. Oh, oh Dave. Fantastic. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Unfortunately, quite high as well. Right. Never mind. Never mind. You're lost. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what? What? Did you like him? Yeah. Oh, she's crying, my goodness me. Never mind, they've gone. The audience love this next one. And you chose him for your date. You chose number one. That was Nick from Paul. Come in, Nick. You're giving her the once over there. <laughs> it was a quick up to the eyes and quickly down to the romp. It was, it was. <laughs> so, where are you going on your blind date? Go on, I'll let you pick. Ooh. Ooh. Do you like to be dominated? <laughs> I love it, I love it. You do. Who's going to read? You can read. <laughs> Been in the Navy. Have they? Yeah. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? An Israeli date. Oh, wow. wow. An Israeli date? Yes, you're off to Israel. Yet You're off to a luxurious five-star hotel on the banks of the Mediterranean Sea. You'll enjoy the hustle and bustle of Tel Aviv and take a long trip to ancient Nazareth. Oh, wow, the history. And stroll through the stunning fishing port of Jaffa. If that's not enough, it says that you'll dance the night away Israeli style. Yes? Is that a bit of belly dancing? What, what, what do they do? I can belly dance to them. It's I not only read the stuff, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it could be. Well, do ever what you like with your belly. I, you wouldn't mind. <laughs> and it says, finally, let's hope you'll be dancing for joy when you come back. I think you make a stunning couple. Just make sure you do come back and tell us how you both got on, ladies and gentlemen. Kelly and Nick, enjoy it. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Well, we're going to take a break right now, but when we come back... Nice, isn't it? Let's go. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Here we go. Look at this. Red carpet treatment. Hi. Well, well, put it down to the Vivo too. Thank, Thank you. very much. Thank you. Mm. Have they got any big melons? <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Four and a half hour of plane journey, I'll get one of those. <laughs> well, if you want to come back to Paul, you've got to learn how to gut fish. Right. right. Oh, it looks great! What do you think of this place, then? So this is where everyone comes to get married, is it? That's really cute, actually. <laughs> this is a little marriage thing. You can say the wedding vows, though. Yes, I do. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you right there? What, you don't pop out? <laughs> I like this one. You can see that women's skirt. <laughs> you right, You ain't got black eyes, have you? <laughs> you and your bright ideas. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll find someone that'll do it with you. No! You'll be doing me a favour, mate, you'll be doing me a favour. <laughs> I'm not doing it, you've got to do it. has a fascinating past, but after their date, did Kelly and Nick have a future? Let's find out. The first thing I noticed about Nick was his really big twinkly blue eyes, and he had a really cheeky smile, and I thought, yeah, I've made the right choice. When I first saw Kelly, she was wearing this very sexy cat suit, and she had a very welcoming cleavage, and I thought, mm -mm, that's fun. <laughs> Back at the hotel after the meal, um, I went up to Nick's room with him, and he said to me, am I not going to get a kiss, my lover? And I thought, yeah, why not? And I fancied my chances with her, and she didn't prove me wrong, and I thought, well, hey, good start to the date here, boy. I didn't really need to flirt with Nick, because I felt that he fancied me anyway, and to be honest, it just wasn't really necessary. Kelly is a total flirt, and she was all over me like a rash. But I have to say, I didn't really mind. Nick's really affectionate in public. He'd hold my hand and give me a kiss, and I did really like that. Kelly was always up for kissing me in public, but to be honest, I'd have rather kept it private. I felt that Nick and I were mutually attracted, um, which made the day a lot more enjoyable. I think Kelly fancied me more than I fancied her. Basically, her body language gave it away. I asked Nick if he fancied me, and he said that he did, and I was really chuffed. Although Kel's a stunning-looking girl, I don't fancy her because I normally go for a calmer, more laid-back sort of bird. I don't think I'm the sort of girl that Nick would normally go for. I would imagine they'd be a lot quieter than I am. But I'd like to think after a few days with me that he might have changed his mind. I didn't tell Kelly I didn't fancy her because well, I didn't want to spoil things between us. Nick and I got really close to each other on the date and we will see each other again. I'd like that to be on a romantic level but we'll have to wait and see. I think I did leave Kelly on knowing I didn't fancy her. And at the end of it, we weren't going to be anything more than just good friends. Sweetheart, I was getting quite excited at the beginning of that film there. Oh, no. Because I think you misread the signals a little bit, or did he lead, did you feel he, he's led you on? A little bit, yeah. Yes. I think so. How bit. could you? I'm a naughty boy, so I know. <laughs> you are a naughty boy. How does it feel, you know, on, on the telly? I mean, you thought you had a really great time. You thought there was a spark between you, and he didn't tell you there that he didn't fancy you. How does it make you feel in front of all these people? I'm hurt. Oh. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Makes me feel terrible. And so it should be. <laughs> you should be, Nick. How could you do that to her? I just, I just wanted to have a good time and 
the end of the day, we did have a great time. And sort of, I've been thinking about think, thinking about it because we've been about a week apart now, haven't we? And I've been thinking about things. And it was this, it was the shock, the initial shock of Kelly's um, overwhelming character. She's very outgoing, very extrovert, and I usually go for a calmer girl. Yeah. But I think I could, I could grow to probably like. Oh, to like it. Oh, he could grow. Oh, he could oh, grow. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do oh, it anymore. Oh. All right. <laughs> you got violence off life. No violence. <laughs> but look, your face is smiling. I mean, you're a very forgiving girl. Uh, uh, will you, are you able to forgive him for leading you on the way he did? He's going to have to beg. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to beg? Beg. I've got the beg. Yes, hand on the knees. And on, on the on knees. knees. <laughs> we want knees. What do we oh, want? <laughs> Hands and knees. Hands and knees. Hands, hands and knees. <laughs> I'll just settle for knees. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's knees or me. <laughs> I ain't getting on my knees. I ain't getting on my knees. it all. I don't think there's going to be a future together, do you? No, maybe, maybe not. Oh, no, maybe not. Well, it's not. It's <laughs> goodbye no, no. from him, and it's certainly goodbye from you. No, we will go. We will keep in contact. I mean, we we not romantically. No. But we live. We maybe. We live fairly close think to each other. Think about it. Yes. Yeah. No, you're not going to see each other again. Right. You're not going to make the effort. But I wish you friends. well for the future. <laughs> Whichever partner you choose, on your knees or no, ladies and gentlemen, wish them well. Kelly and Nick. I'm afraid, but please join us again next week to see how Christina and Nick and Steve and Sam enjoy their dates together. And of course, we'll be arranging some more blind dates. So until then, it's ta for now. ta everyone! <laughs>